Hey everybody, so really quickly, I want to give another example of how we take perception as facts and then try to apply it out there as if it was a universal um, solution and it's not. So somebody in my group was mentioning something about conflict resolution and their struggles with that and you know, they're mulling it over and taking long pauses and whatever, and that's fine. But let me give you a clue. Conflict resolution, okay? Conflict resolution are both nouns. It's just a statement of fact. There's conflict, which is a noun, and there's resolution, which is another noun. Now, your solution to conflict resolution, your solution is based upon perception, and that perception is not universal. It's not a fact. It's not something that should be applied to across the board. The only way that you don't even get into a conflict, because conflict is also based upon perception. Even though it's a noun, it could be used as, a, as, a, um, as an adjective too, because you can say, well, there, there's a conflict here and there really isn't. But that's someone else's perception. But when you're looking at a term conflict resolution, that's a noun. That's two nouns being used as a statement of being a statement of fact. But the solution is where the perceptions are. And so when somebody has a solution to conflict resolution, now you're getting someone's perception. You're getting their judgment, their truth, and it's not a fact. And then people live from those things as if they're truth and they're not. They wonder why things don't work. They wonder why half the county is not accepting that conflict resolution solution and why the other half is. So, so the only way, the only solution to conflict resolution is to walk away. Because when you don't even acknowledge the conflict and you don't have a solution, there is no perception that's going to get lost or mischaracterized or confused. And that's one of the things that's so difficult for people out there is to mind their own business. If it's a conflict to you, then you have a perception that really isn't universal. And then you're selling your perceptions as if they were, tr if they were true in fact, and they're not. They're just your perception. And then you find people that are easily swayed by very emotional marketing. And then that's how you infect people with conflict. That's how you create disease and cancer in populations when you take your perceptions as if they're truth. Conflict resolution is not even, if there's a conflict to you, then you have to resolve it within you. It's not something out there. The conflict is you and how you sell your resolution, your solution. Conflict resolution is like, yeah. I mean, that's just a statement of fact, conflict resolution, but the solution to that is where the perceptions are. And so that's why I'm really dissecting the English language and all of the programming and all of the uh, mind control around it, because there's definitely mind control in the English language. And if you, even if you don't know what, what, what the facts are, the parts of speech and the grammar will give you a clue. Adjectives, you can have adjectives and nouns you can have one word be both adjective and noun, okay? Anything that has an adjective is a perception. Anything like, like an adverb, which is an adjective and a, ver and a verb conjoined together, that's a perception of an action, okay? An adverb could be like running or not running. Well, an adverb could be like, well, um, fast. Fast is an adverb because that's still an adjective of a action but it's still based upon perception because one person can look at what fast is and it's not fast to them it's slow to them but that's still a perception oh she ran fast well someone else can say she ran slow so you can have two different perceptions of the same action and that would not be a fact running is a fact how fast or how slow is a perception so that's why understanding the english language and breaking it down so you understand who is selling you a perception and who is just giving you facts. And when you have those together, you know, facts and perceptions or nouns, verbs and adjectives and adverbs, then you realize you're being sold a bill of goods. You're being sold, you're being brainwashed, you're being marketed with a solution that, that really isn't appropriate universally. And it's based upon intention.
So it's very interesting breaking apart the English language, and wordsmithing is very, 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 very interesting. And when you study the English language, you study wordsmithing, and you're study, studying parts of speech and grammar, and then you, how people get brainwashed by articles and by very good speakers, then you start seeing the programming, the mind control, the MK Ultra of a whole population. And right now, watching the riots and watching the reactions for and against is exactly the mind control. When people have visceral gut reactions to words because of an action. Because then when you put the adjectives in front of each noun, then it becomes an emotional, emotional triggers for people. And then you start seeing people react. And then you know who's damaged. You know who has major trauma. And it doesn't matter which side of the aisle you're on. You know who has major trauma. Anyone who reacts. If you, if you don't walk away and you react to anything that's said or done out there, you have emotional trauma. Because now you're going to try to sell your perception. And that's where the wars are between Democrats and Republicans, Second Amendment, you know, so those are not. It's all about selling your perception as if it was a fact, and it really isn't. And that's how you dissect the English language and get control of the mind control that's out there through words and actions and visceral gut reactions and triggers. And that's why J-Juice is so important, because it releases the emotional triggers, so you're not reacting to every single thing out there trying to sell your perception or buying a solution that really isn't appropriate for you. All right, have a good day. Bye.